my African people, come on in today, let's have a conversation. Do you know that almost half of the youths that go to the ER for mental health issues never get the follow-up that they deserve? Do you know that mental health, suicide, it's a taboo in Africa? It is an untouchable conversation in African homes. Papa, Mama, listen. Uh, last week, we found out that a 17-year-old African child, I don't want to even go to say what country he came from, an African child born to African parents, an American kid born to an African parent in here, uh, has been going through depression for over three years. And every time he tries to complain, Papa said, eh, eh, you know, suck it up. You know, you wait till you worry yourself. You're not strong enough. Get hold it together. You'll be fine. Depression, not there for family. Every time he tries to bring it up, Mama will shut him down. And the worst thing is that they shun the child and does not want the children to ever mention it even among their friends because it brings shame. It almost like it stigmatizes the African family. Papa and Mama, if you're one of those parents who believe that your acceptance to society depends on how well and how good your children are, then you're wrong. If your child who is suffering from depression or a mental health issue and you're hiding it from your friends because you think they are going to make fun of you, my dear, when that child is dead and gone, I will know that you will wish they had made fun of you while you're seeking the help that you need. What am I saying? It is a very sad thing that we Africans, we believe that we are the Almighty that never has have to suffer for depression, mental health, psychosis, schizophrenia, uh, anxiety, and any, all sort of stuff. We are just human beings like any other race in this world. You see, the, the, the disparity between American uh, uh, Caucasians and, and, and Blacks, uh, it's already wide enough for mental health. But when it comes to Africans, the gap is even wider. So if your child, as a parent, you have to listen to your children. Do not be afraid to take on mental health issues with confidence and take them, take, get them the mental health uh, counseling that they need. Do not shun your child. Give them the help that they deserve.